Hey, hey! This is a TiVo from 2009. It was a refurb that we got. Uh, been working really well, but it just kind of stopped. And I think it may just be the power supply. A little bit of Googling and looking around in different forums. It seems to be that there's a problem with the power supply capacitors uh, going bad. I've taken a quick look and that definitely could be it. So I'm going to work on replacing those and just wanted you to come along. This may work for several different types of devices. I think this is a relatively common problem, especially in older electronics. And so let's try fixing this together. So the first thing we need to do is take the cover off. There's just a bunch of little screws. You don't have to take off these ones for the exhaust fan, but the rest of them come off. It was a little hard to jimmy that off. Now let's take a look inside. What you can see here is the power supply that comes in because the power goes in there. You can see there's this whole power board and then this cable goes over to provide all the power to the main board, all the main circuitry. A little bit of power here for uh, the hard drive. Uh, you can see this, those yellow cables, they are going to that. So there's definitely a little bit of output power uh, coming from this thing. If you look at the capacitors on here, most of them are nice and flat. But right here, it's kind of hard to see, but a few of these are actually kind of bulging. So this one's kind of, you know, feels pretty flat. These are all bulging and there's even that little bit of something that might be something seeping out of the capacitor. So the plan is that I will replace at least, I think, I think I'll start with these three bulging ones and then maybe the other two that are like that. And if those five don't solve it, then there's a, this one, two, three, four that are left. And people have said if they replace all nine, it works. But other people have not had to replace quite all nine. So I'm going to start by just replacing a few of them and we'll see what happens. This is sped up a lot, but what you're seeing here is heating up the capacitors from the underside where they make the connection to the board. And after heating them up, it loosens the solder, basically softens the solder, and you can start to kind of wiggle them free and pull them out. There's several different capacitors here that I'm doing this on, those three that were bulging basically. And as you can see here, I basically have to put the soldering iron against it, warm it up, and wiggle them out. So here are the three bulging ones that I removed. You can definitely feel that. We'll go ahead and replace these three and then we can do a quick test and see if it looks like it boots up at all. Here you can see the old capacitor. This is just some glue or putty or something that kind of holds it in place. And there's the new one. It may be still hard to see how this one's bulging on top, but you can definitely feel it on there. So these are the same size. You can see they're 10 volt rated, 2200 microfarad. And I will now try to run those through the holes that these were in and get them soldered on. Now you're seeing the same process basically in reverse, heating up those same pads because there's a little solder left poking the capacitors through, and then putting some additional solder on those connections to make sure that they just really connect to the board well because a lot of that solder got removed. So we're using some of the solder that's there, but mostly heating it up and pushing the capacitors through, and then trimming off those long leads. So here they are all back installed, and you can see those three have been replaced. See, there are little gray tops, and all the original ones have these yellow tops, except for this one that's blue for some reason. That's pretty good. Let's go see how it looks and works with those three replaced. Okay, here we go. Let's see. 
Well, the light's on, no crazy flashing lights, and we're getting the TiVo welcome message. Good sign, got to the next screen. Sorry, I missed the thing, but maybe I won't get copyright <laughs> strikes for only having part of that sound. And there's a little TiVo guy. And there it is. Got the TiVo working again, replacing three capacitors. And I think they were less than a dollar each. Obviously the shipping was more than that. So um, I think that it would be best to replace all nine of those, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I'm gonna let it just work. Maybe I'll do that this weekend, go back in and replace a few more, replace the rest of them maybe, uh, just so that uh, the old ones uh, are just gone completely and then that way it should be good to go for a very long time. Like I said, got this back in 2009, so it's already gone 11 years. Don't know how many more it'll go. Works okay, it's not 4K, but it is high def, records a lot of stuff. We've been using it for a long time, obviously, and like it. And the new ones are cheaper and maybe a little better, but for basically three bucks plus shipping, I got this one working again. And for about 20 bucks all in, I could replace all those capacitors and probably get a lot more life out of it. If you've got an old TiVo or maybe just an old TV or something that goes out, you might wanna check those capacitors. Look for the ones that are just a little bulgy compared to the rest and definitely replace those. Well, take care, I'll talk to you later, wash your hands, stay cool, and have a good one.